All right, it's Pops, and I want to talk a little comic book stuff with you, and more importantly, or more specifically, some of the comic shop experiences I had just recently. So I've talked about it briefly, but let me go through that uh, the comic books that are graded, speculatively 9, 8, and certain keys and key collector apps. I probably do a video on just key collector. Uh, sword in price. And I own a bunch of these books and I messaged some folks and they talked about, well, you really should get things graded. Well, I never gotten any of my comic books graded like ever. I've never, I've, I've owned some, I've had some pass through my pos uh, possession over the years, you know, buying, selling, trading, whatever. But I've never actually graded my own. So I didn't really know how to go about it. I just read some stuff online, watched a few videos. Well, I decided I would go to some of the local shops. So uh, the first shop I went to was probably one that I patronized the most of the four. And, uh, cause I remember buying a very specific Jiminy Cricket comic book there for Randy. And I went in and there were, uh, a few graded comic books here and there. This person working did not even look up for this. So when you walk in the store, there's uh, there's like a little little a short wall and they have a computer in the area back there and they're on their computer and it's ding ding you're there didn't say hello didn't say hi nothing so I'm walking around I look at a few things uh, I'll go to the back I'm kind of like looking around I see a few graded comics and then I go to try to strike up a conversation and it was kind of like I was interrupting the person so it was nice enough but completely no help, not interested in helping, treated me as though there's no chance I was going to spend money in a shop. So it's more like, how can I cut this short and just shoo you out of the way? This person had no uh, interest in striking up a conversation. Because what I expected was nerd talk. I expected, well, I got about an hour. So I figured the person's going to be like, well, what are you into? You know, do you have anything with you? I can see what you have to give me, give you advice on what you should grade or not grade. Or I've sent stuff in before. This person was completely useless, nothing. No interest in striking up a conversation, no interest in offering any help, no interest in any uh, consumer interaction. So I bail out on that. So I go out again, and uh, this is another shop that I knew existed uh, because of a restaurant that's close by. I don't want to put anybody on blast, that's why I'm not naming names. So uh, I go in there, they specialize in new comic books so i didn't see very many back issues uh except for like dollar bins and stuff in the very back of the store which i assume is just the overflow of the new comics that didn't get purchased they had a few graded comic books up front in a box a short box so i struck up conversation there and the guy was very nice he goes why are you interested and i told him my little story again I told him my spiel it was very very nice he said well show me what you have so i'm showing him what i have and he immediately was wondering, well, you're sure you don't want to sell them to me? So he immediately was trying to buy them, which is kind of funny. Um, but I also knew the difference of what they are, ungraded versus graded, what the potential was of this stack. I had like a little stack of some samples. I had some brand newer stuff, so stuff that's only like the last couple of years. I have, you know, super key stuff. I have old, like Bronze Age stuff. I had so I had kind of a variety. So people kind of idea what I'm working with, and I hopefully would get some input on like this is how you do it, what you should or shouldn't do, and like that. Uh, but I will say this: the person was not helpful in giving me advice, but said, "All right, well, there's another comic shop in the area. Let me send you over there." So that's what I did. So I uh, didn't get to them right away, but I was driving. And I saw another shop. I never even knew this shop was there. It's like tucked. It's one of those places where you have a strip and they could change stores out and you wouldn't even notice right away. Like, oh, the dry cleaner's gone. Or, oh, there's still, it's kind of like one of those strips. This guy's stuck in there. So I walk in. There's not a graded comic book in the place. The back issues is just chaos. Absolute mayhem. Nothing is in order. There's stuff everywhere. But there are some nice books like he had them on like little shelves and stuff. So I was like, well, I'm here. And, then, and there was some really cheap stuff. So I'm like, well, let me grab a few things since I'm here. I think I can flip these. So I went up there and I asked her for a price. So this is one of the worst and shadiest things of anywhere you're doing is if it's not priced, 
I, I don't know what you're doing. So his his thing was, well, the owner doesn't price them. I have to let him know what they have, and he's going to tell me the price. He's not here. You can talk to him, but I have to relay it through him. So he literally took the time to take pictures of the books I wanted, text the boss, and waited for the box to text back text prices. That's how that transaction went down. I think I bought much from that guy. I think that's how I wanted to operate and do my business. Is that how you would want to do things? Can you imagine rolling up in a store and go, well, I don't really have the price, but let me get the manager and they're going to talk to you about, I'll get the price from them and then I'll tell you. This is, this is insane. Like there are so few comic book people flooding money in, especially on a regular basis. Part of the trick, because I know I've had, I've been a seller is you want to engage them in a relationship, find out what they're interested in, try to get the stuff that they could be interested in, have a good enough experience that they would come back, spend money again, possibly get a subscription, possibly become a regular patron, those kinds of things. No effort. I'm three stores in and very little. Even the new comic book guy that was helpful, all he basically did was refer me to somebody else. He really didn't try to get his hooks in me. So finally, I go to the fourth place, the, guy, the place the other guy left. Now, I immediately walk in and know I'm amongst my own based on the way it's in a hole, but it's decorated wall to wall. He had books everywhere, new, old. He had stuff behind the register. It was done. It's a, it's a little tiny hole in the wall. Great shop. Guy stopped. He had customers in the store who also were engaged in what I was talking about and doing. They offered their advice. He... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, stopped what he was doing, came over, looked at the comics I had, started kind of grading them for himself about this one's good, this one's not good, I'd recommend this, I'd recommend that. And then he turned me on to who presses and cleans his comic books. So where do you think I spent my money first? With that guy, right? So I went back a couple days after this because I had called their uh, cleaning and pressing guy. And it worked out great. Guy's fantastic. So I went back and I said, look, you were so gracious with your time. I want to give you some money. So let me buy a couple things. You know, gave me, and he gave me some advice. You know, in books that came back, I, I graded those two books, which I'm anxious to get back here soon. And I can share more of the story with you. And if he ever sees this video, he'll know I'm talking about him. My point to all of this is the comic book industry and the store experience has a very unique feel to it, right? Because even with the Marvel movies and the flood of what they call normies who are into all of this, it's still a very small population of people. And the people that are going to be coming back regularly buying books, whether they're buying new books, maybe they just buy back issues, and maybe they're sporadic. I reek of the guy that probably has money. <laughs> like I don't, I don't, I'm not the guy coming in and 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 haggling over like a stack of dollar comic books or anything like that. I'm, 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 I'm holding books that are worth hundreds of dollars to find the fact that, you know, you only have one out of four comic book shops that are interested in trying to get that person as a customer was just shocking to me. So I don't know what experiences you have. I don't even know if it's about comic books. I mean, it's about any store. So we're in like a customer service, uh, uh, Oasis where nothing is here. There's no there's no hope on the horizon of anything being real when it comes to customer service anymore. But just horrible experiences and efforts to not try to get a customer. Like I I'm just in shock. Like if you don't know, like none of, even the guy that was helpful, he didn't do grading himself and he's not done grading allegedly. But he was at least helpful with like some tips, pointed me to a clean press guy, gave me some advice. He was at least trying to uh, be customer friendly about those kinds of things. And I've gone back there since then. And I tell you to do the exact same thing, right? Everyone should be on a litmus test. Are they even helpful to you? And if not, try another place. I'm not even including my flea market experience because that was an absolute disaster, right? My wife and I had a chance. We went by a flea market. Figured, well, I'll look for cards and comics because it's a hot thing. The only guy that I saw that had anything reasonable was stuff that was just so beat up it's sad. He had just like loose random cards. They're all rounded and just just gross. Like I give you a dollar for all of them so I can give them to my kid. Maybe they'll get into collecting. Like comics, they're not in 
I don't even know if they're all in bags. They're not boards. They're just, you're just wallowing a bag, just all flopping around, all beat up. So he wasn't really serious. And he also had a booth that was just, it was absolute chaos. It was like going to one of those places in the 80s and 90s where they're not really into this, but they're trying to make a buck and it's just chaos. This is a guy that was like that, but he's been doing it a really long time. What a state of the industry that we're in. I, I got to be honest, I was a little shocked. It makes me want to open a store, but I cannot do that right now. But that's what I was thinking about when I was in these places going, wow, we could kind of take an amalgam of all three or four places and make one place. That'd be all right. So anyway, maybe it's not comic books, maybe it's cards, maybe it's something else that you're into. Tell me what you think customer service wise, because I feel like we're in a customer service black hole, man. It's so rare to find someone that will treat you nice and fair and, and interesting, those kinds of things. So anyway, that was my uh, video idea. Hope you have a, a good one. This is Pops. Bells, whistles, buttons below. Hit me up there. Support the channel. I appreciate your time. I'm Pops.